solving quadratic equation using the common monomial factory. Tara at pag-usapan natin yan dito. Manood, makinig, mag-enjoy at matuto. Hi everyone! Welcome sa lesson natin for today. So ngayon, pag-uusapan natin kung paano nga ba mag-solve ng quadratic equation. And, start natin sa mga factoring methods na alam na natin. To start with, umpisahan natin kay common monomial factory. But before that, let us get to know first ano nga ba si quadratic equation. Quadratic equation, ito po ang standard form niya. ax squared plus bx plus c. So, kapag sinabing quadratic, ang highest exponent nun ay 2 or naka-square. Wherein, ang a, b, and c are known numbers. Ibig sabihin, may mga values yon And, ang a cannot be equal to 0. Take note of that. Ang a cannot be equal to 0. Bakit? Kapag naging 0 si a, 0 times x, times x squared, magiging 0 to mawawala ito. Kaya nga naging quadratic to, Dahil sa kanya, kaya hindi siya pwedeng mawala. Kaya ang a cannot be equal to 0. Ganun. So let's start. Let's use common monomial factoring dito. x squared plus 3x. How do we know ulit na common monomial factoring ay pwedeng apply sa given polynomial or equation? So titignan lang natin yung mga terms. So ito yung term. First term and second term. May common ba sila? Meron. So, in this case, parehas silang may variable x. Ito may x, ito rin may x. Ito dalawa, ito isa lang. So, paano yan isosolve? Sa so, common monomial factoring, you have to get first the GCF of the numbers and the variable. In this case, yung number dito ay 1, tapos 3, so wala na yung GCF kasi may 1 na nga doon. For the variable, pipiliin lang natin dito sa dalawa kung alin lang may pinakamababang exponent. So, in this case, etong x kasi raised to 1 lang siya. So, ito yung magiging GCF natin. So, yung GCF ay nasa labas. Then, i-divide natin itong kada term doon sa GCF na meron tayo. Ganito yun. May dalawang x. Bawasan ng isa na nasa labas. Ilan ang matitira sa loob? Isa na lang. Next. Since wala namang number dito, nakatabi ni x, kopyahin mo lang yung plus 3 sa loob. Ganun yun. Pero kung may number dito, syempre i-divide natin yung dito sa 3. Next. Sa si x na isa, bawasan ng isang x na nasa labas, wala nang matitira. So therefore, yung 3, solo na lang dyan sa second term. And i-close mo na yung parenthesis, equal to 0. Alright. So ganito lang naman ang dagdag na step kapag kukunin natin yung values of x sub 1 and x sub 2. Paghihiwalayin lang natin itong dalawa etong mga factors. Yung GCF sa yung remaining factor natin na nakuha. So, paano yun? Etong x dito, equal to 0. Ganto. And this one, yung pangalawang part, equal mo rin sa 0. I-equate natin yung dalawang ito sa 0. So, that's why we have here. x is equal to 0. x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, etong una, wala natin yung isosolve. Kasi nga, ang value daw ng x ay 0 na. So, wala nang kailangan pang isolve. And that will be our x sub 1. Ang x sub 1 natin ngayon ay 0. Now, let's work on our x sub 2. So, dito yon So, since kailangan kasi matira dito ay x para makuha sa x sub 2, ang gagawin natin, ililipat natin si positive 3. And that's transposition or yung addition property of equality. So, i-transpose natin yung positive 3. Kapag lumipat yan doon, magiging siyang negative. Diba? So, ganito ang itsura nun. Ayan. So, si x ang natira, naging negative si 3. And, 0 minus 3 is just negative 3. Ayan. So, since natira na si x, tapos may value na sa kabila, eto na nga yan ang x sub 2 natin. Ayan. So, the values of x sub 1 is 0, x sub 2 is negative 3. 
And ito na yung mga values na hinahanap natin sa ating quadratic equation. Ayan. So let's have another example. Ayan. So this is another quadratic equation kasi nga naka-squared. Ayan. Tapos, bakit under ito ng common monomial factoring? Simply because yung variable o kaya yung number ay may GCF or pwedeng both may GCF. Let's try to answer this. Ano kaya ang may GCF? Yung number lang ba? Yung variable lang ba? Or yung both numbers and variable? Let's see. May GCF ba si 21 saka si 28? Meron. And that is 7. At bakit may x yung katabi? Because yung x din ay may GCF. Kasi nga, may x yung first term, may x yung second term, ibig sabihin may GCF yung variable natin na x. At bakit nakuha yung x lang, hindi yung x squared? Because when we are choosing kung alin ang magiging GCF sa variable, pinipili natin yung pinakamababang exponent. And in this case, yung x raised to 1. Kaya nakuha si 7x. So si 7x, since GCF yan nasa labas, ayan, so open parenthesis, number by number, variable by variable, dinivide natin. 21 divided by 7, that's 3. And kaya may x, Yung dalawang x, binawasan ng isa, isa na lang ang natira. Kaya 3x yung nasa first term natin. Then, number by number ulit. Negative 28 divided by 7, that is negative 4. Right? Tandaan mo yung negative 4. Tapos, si x, bawasan ng isa pang x, wala na. So therefore, minus 4 na lang ito. Ako ha? Ayan, so ganun. Is equal to 0. Ayan. So, ito na yung factored form ng 21x squared minus 28x. Then, we can now get our x sub 1 tapos x sub 2. Ang gagawin lang, ipaghiwalay itong dalawa, then i-equate pareho sa 0. Ayan, ganito yun. So, si 7x equal to 0, and itong matitira, 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. Ayan. So, how do we solve this one? Since may katabi pang number si x, ang gagawin natin is yung multiplication property of equality or whatever number na katabi ng x, i-divide mo lang yan sa kanya. So, since 7 ang katabi ni x, i-divide natin yan sa 7 at yung both side of the equation. Standaan yon. Kung anong ginagawa sa isang side of the equation, kailangan mo rin gawin sa kabila pa. Kaya pati sa 0, magdi-divide ka rin. So, divide this by 7. Ayan. So, matatanggal na ngayon itong 7. Ayan. Tapos, ang matitira, x na lang. x is equal to 0. Now, since x na lang ang natira, tapos may value na sa kabila, this will be our x sub 1. x sub 1 is equal to 0. Ayan. So, let's solve naman for our x sub 2. Ayan. So, ang unang gagawin natin, ang goal nga natin matira yung x, ililipat natin yung negative 4. What will happen kapag tinranspose ang negative 4? magigis siyang positive 4. And ganito ang itsura nun. So, si 3x na tira is equal to 0 plus 4 kasi nga negative lumipat naging positive. Tapos, solve natin to. That is, 3x is equal to 4. Ayan. Then, may katabi pa si x. And whatever that number na katabi ng x, para mawala yan, use the MPE or multiplication property of equality or i-divide mo lang ito sa 3, yung both side of the equation. Ayan. So, matatanggal din dyan yung 3. Matitira ay x na lang. x is equal to 4 over 3. And this is now our x sub 2. Ayan. So, kailangan pa bang i-mix? Kahit hindi na. Ayan. Okay na yan. Accepted na yan as the final answer. Ayan. Now, if you are ready, so let's get to our humor, Jill. I'll give you two items to answer here. So, number one, 9x squared minus 63x is equal to 0. And number two, 16x squared plus 6x is equal to 0. So, I'll pause for a while and I'll get back to you to give the answer. And if you still need time, feel free to pause the video. Alright, your timer starts now.
Alright, time's up. So let us now answer this. Number 1. 9x squared minus 63x is equal to 0. So, yun nga. So this is quadratic equation kasi nga naka-squared. And ang gagamitin natin dito ay common monomial factoring. Bakit? Simply because it's either yung number or yung variable ay may GCF o kaya both of them have GCF. So let's try to find out here kung ano yung may GCF. So sa numbers muna. 9 and 63, may GCF ba? Yes, and that is 9. Tapos sa dalawang x, paano pipiliin yung GCF? Of course, yung may pinakamababang exponent, and that is x raised to 1. So therefore, ang GCF natin ay 9x. Tapos open parenthesis, i-divide natin isa-isa yung kada term. Number by number, variable by variable. 9 divided by 9, that's 1. So relax mo na yung 1, mamaya mo na isulat. X squared, bawasan ng isang X sa labas. Ilan ang matitira sa loob? Isa na lang. So, ang ilalagay dito ay 1X or just X. Automatic naman yun na may 1 dito. Next, negative 63 divided by 9. So, that is negative 7. Tapos, yung isang X, bawasan ng isa pang X, wala nang matitira sa loob. Ayan. So, this is now the factored form of this one, yung nasa left side, is equal to 0. Alright, so tuloy tayo. Ang gagawin ulit dito, paghihiwalayin natin itong dalawa, then i-equate natin both sa 0. So, paano yon? So, si 9x magiging equal to 0, and si x minus 7 magiging equal to 0 then. So, what should we do here since may number sa tabi ni x? Of course, i-divide lang natin yan both sa 9. Para mawala yung 9. Yan. And matitira is x is equal to 0 because 0 divided by 9 is 0. Ayan. So, ito na ngayon ang x sub 1 natin. Ayan. So, let's work on naman our x sub 2. So, x minus 7 is equal to 0. So, since gusto natin matira yung x, ililipat natin sa negative 7. So, kapag nilipat si negative 7, magiging siyang positive 7. Ganto ang itsura nun. Ganyan. And 0 plus 7 is just 7. And this value now is our x sub 2. Ayan. So, these are now the values of x sub 1 and x sub 2 na hinahanap natin sa ating quadratic equation. Let's move now to our last. Given 16x squared plus 6x is equal to 0. So, let's get first the GCF of this two, two terms na meron. Ayan. So, 16x squared. Tapos, 6x. Tignan natin muna dun sa 16 saka sa 6. Ano kaya ang GCF ng 16 saka ng 6? Alright. 2. Correct. And, dito sa dalawang x, of course, yung x lang. Kasi siya ang may pinakmababang exponent sa dalawa. Ayan. So, we have 2x na GCF. Open parenthesis, isa-isahin ulit. Number by number, variable by variable. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Tapos, Dalawang x bawasan ng isa, isa na lang. So therefore, dito sa first term, 8x ang nakalagay. Then, since may number dyan, 6 divided by 2, that's 3. Tapos, x bawasan ng isang x, wala nang matitira. So therefore, plus 3 na lang. Close parenthesis equal to 0. Then, paghiwalayin, i-equate sa 0. So si 2x equal to 0, tapos ito naman, 8x plus 3 is equal to 0. Then, since may katabing number si x, i-divide natin yan pareho sa 2. Kung ano yung katabi ni x, siya ang divisor natin. So, tanggal yung 2, matitira is x. And 0 divided by 2 is 0. And this will now be our x sub 1. x sub 1 is equal to 0. Next, 8x plus yung 3 is equal to 0. First thing you have to do, ilipat mo na yung positive 3 that will become negative 3 sa kabila. So, ito yan. So, 8x is equal to 0 minus 3. Tapos, solve natin. Ang 0 minus 3 is negative 3. So, since hindi pa ito pwede maging x sub 2 kasi may katabi pa si x na 8, para mawala si 8, i-divide natin yan both sa 8. And, tanggal yung 8, matitira is x na lang, is equal to negative 3 over 8. Since hindi na naman ito pwedeng, or hindi na sila 
divisible. Pwedeng fraction na yung maging sagot. Ayan. And that will be our x sub 2. Ayan. So that's it. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you have, you've learned something today. And we want to see you on our next lesson. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. And if you did learn, please do share this to your friends who needs this lesson the most. And don't forget also to subscribe and click the notification bell para updated ka rin sa mga latest videos natin na upload dito sa UMRPH. Don't forget that you deserve more. You can learn more. And you can be more. Hashtag, you more PH. Bye-bye. See you in our next video.